Higher impacts expected across the southeast this week as tropical moisture moves our way and there is a chance it's from a named tropical system. Hi everybody, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice. Watching this closely, we now have access to our high resolution computer models. Check out the swirl here over Florida as this system tries to get going and move toward the west. Tropical depression, tropical storm possibilities are beginning to grow and we need to watch this closely. If you're new to this channel, please let me know where you're watching right now. That helps me uh, help you forecast. Like this video, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. My goal as always is to keep you informed of what's coming our way so that you can prepare and make plans for your family to keep you safe. Let's look closely at what's going on right now because there's a lot that has changed and the differences here are now we're getting closer to some of our high resolution capabilities. Let's show you what's happening right now across the entire basin. Things are pretty quiet here across the Atlantic if we, as we have had a lot of dry air. Now that is set to change here across the Gulf as we see the daylight come to us on our satellite imagery. Always love seeing this. The city lights go away and you start to see the moisture build up on the visible satellite, especially here across the Gulf. Uh, better moisture is going to start to build and the National Hurricane Center is highlighting this area as a chance for development. Element. Now it's still a low chance. This is one of those situations like we saw with Chantal where you're likely to see those chances build a little bit day by day and as we see the conditions come a little bit better into agreement we're going to see the possibility of that low pressure system become a tropical entity. So far the European model has started to trend toward the GFS American model which is a little odd. The GFS is usually uh, the one to catch on to things after the European, but in this case, the Europeans had it earlier and then it went away from it. You see here the blue indicates lower pressure. So all across Florida, now, if you're traveling or you're in Florida right now, I don't expect it to be a complete washout. Yes, there will be rain, but is it going to wash out your entire week? No, just think better afternoon and evening thunderstorm chances and higher impact storms, okay? It's going to be a lot of rain where it does rain. Now, this drifts toward the west in the Gulf as we go throughout midweek. European here kind of has it sitting there, possibly as a tropical depression or a tropical storm uh, by Wednesday's time frame. And we need to watch this closely as this rolls on through the area. Uh, so there's the European model. Let's look closer at the GFS model. It too has a low pressure, lower pressure over Florida, sends it toward the west. Not really jumping out anything crazy, but it's got some lower than normal pressures here across the area. Wednesday, same time frame as the uh, European model. So the timing here is pretty on par with one another. So we got good model agreement. Both models are in agreement of it not becoming a major big time storm system, but one that's worth watching, especially in areas that do not need any more rain. Uh, we don't want any of this to go toward Texas. The remnants, nothing of it. Um, same story across a lot of the southeast. There's been just too much rain here lately. Let's look closer at the GFS model because it has been early on and, and done a pretty good job of this so far. So let's give credit where credit is due. And here comes that upper level low, uh, the energy here, the vorticity, the spin. You see it kind of spinning in here across Florida. That could create a surface low, and it does look like some of those remnants do head toward Louisiana. Basically, what this does is spin that counterclockwise flow, and when you get counterclockwise flow, what that does is it's going to send in higher moisture around it and slingshot it basically into Florida. So Florida is prime up primed up right now, suspect number one, <laughs> for us seeing some higher rainfall totals this week. Let's look closer at that. This is uh, another map I like to use called the precipitable water. Uh, it shows you where higher moisture is going to go. Let me rewind it here, and I'll show you here. Look at Florida. Watch Florida here as it goes on through. So Florida, uh, as we go into our Wednesday, Thursday time frame, solidly in the red. That just means extra juice in the atmosphere. So you're going to have higher rain when it is raining. All right. So higher impact rain is going to be the name of the game here across Florida up through the panhandle. Again, no washouts. If you're looking for vacation, if you're traveling, Disney, you know, there's going to be rain in the afternoon and evening and they're going to be just big time downpours, but this doesn't look like it's going to be an every second of the day type thing. So here we go into Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, look at all this plume of moisture, even getting into parts of East Texas. 
Um, need to watch that closely because we don't want to go any further west than that. But it looks like that slug of moisture then moves toward the north. Now, it's no longer a tropical system at this point. This would be Thursday, Friday's time frame, but it is the, the remnants or the moisture thereof, and there's a front sitting across the United States like that. So it does kind of squeeze that moisture to the south, and, and extra moisture hangs out across the south. So higher rainfall totals, higher impact rain, then it settles back over Florida. So uh, we could have it happen again with uh, this GFS model trying to crop up another little tropical entity just kind of recycles the moisture watch that if i just loop it up for you all right rewind it kind of rewind that tape all right here it goes here's that moisture streaming in gets caught by that front circles back down look at this tries to re-rack and create another little tropical system circling back around like a clock all right so that would go back over arkansas mississippi louisiana and then that front settles in again so Again, we need to watch it. We need to watch this very closely. As far as rainfall totals are concerned, check out how it bubbles up toward Florida as we go throughout the week here and then circles back around. Notice rainfall getting caught up on that front and then it circles back around. Remember I told you it recycles and there you go. That second recycle looks like it could be more of a, a higher impact tropical system according to the GFS model here. So it would be maybe a tropical storm. Uh, pretty bona fide tropical storm here. So need to watch this closely for the southeast over the next uh, 10 days, simply put. And we do have access now to our high resolution data. Uh, so this is getting in the wheelhouse where they start to, to hone in on it. Being three to four days out, notice that big slug of moisture across Florida starts to move toward the west. Big rain. Now, like I said, notice how Florida is not just completely washed out. There will be rain around, but mainly in the afternoon and evening. Just think higher impact afternoon evening storms. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, there will be some rain as it moves on through, but look at this. This big plume goes toward the west. Now, this is as far as this high resolution model gets. I do have access to basically 20 more hours of it. It's not as high resolution, but it does give us a clue as to what's happening here. Scoots it toward the west here. And there it goes, it stops. So let's re-rack that less high resolution model. It still works, it's the same one, gives us an idea. Uh, here we go into Florida and then it circles it back around. That's a pretty tight little low pressure system. It's at least getting a little more organized uh, south of Destin, Panama City, uh, and then going toward New Orleans. So either way, that, that's gonna do is slingshot moisture from the Atlantic and the Gulf up against the mountains here. So again, no widespread just soaking rains, but you'll start to see, watch Florida here, a low risk of flooding today, a medium risk for flooding tomorrow. That's as that low is now crossing over it. Now notice going into Tuesday, some of that moisture does slingshot up against the mountains. So there is has been a low risk of severe weather and a low risk for flooding posted against the, the mountains there. That's because the moisture slingshots up in here. There's a there's a weak front in here, but it's also the mountains helping out. But central Florida south has a medium risk for flash flooding. And then it would kind of continue here across parts of the Gulf and the mountains in here. So day five would get us in that general vicinity. And remember, it kind of recycles back around. Let's look see if the uh, Weather Prediction Center has a similar look to that. You see that low right here, day three. Tropical, non-tropical, we're waiting to see. Day four, it's kind of scooting up in here. All right, that, that's on par for what we just saw from the models. Day five, coming in here somewhere around New Orleans, Louisiana. Day six, it's kind of unrecognizable plume of moisture. Day seven, it's kind of gone. So yeah, kind of recycles back around, and that's something we'll have to watch closely. What do the models show about longer range? Well, folks, this is the time frame that you should know that as we get into late July, early August, that the main development region, it's an area of the Atlantic that we watch, becomes more active, and we need to watch that area because as we move into our late July, early August time frame, that area does start to show some development here. And here's our development here, closer to home, possible tropical depression. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if it gets a name later this week. That's some warm water there. Recycles back around. Now notice here we are into early next week. 
last frame here. Notice that tropical wave coming off of Africa now showing signs of possible development. Doesn't look to me anything jumping out big, but that is the time of the year where we start to look off the coast of Africa and you see something form and we have 12 plus days to watch it. Whenever it's sitting out here, even if it did form into a big hurricane, it's still a week away from hitting the Caribbean islands, Jamaica, uh, the Bahamas, um, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, you know, St. Martin, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, but it's at least 12 days away from the mainland United States. So watching that closely for Puerto Rico, you know, Dominican Republic and Haiti, this is the time of the year where we start to see stuff form near the Cape Verde Islands, and we just got to watch it, see how it comes. And looking closer at the pattern, as I look for clues and all of the different models and entities, and this is the Climate Prediction Center's new outlook. It highlights the southeast for above average precipitation. That coincides with that recycling of the moisture I showed you there. And as you look at temperatures, we're going to be above normal. So what that means is you have more moisture, you have higher temperatures, you're likely to get, you know, more active afternoon and evenings. So that will lead to stormy conditions of which we could get severe weather, lots of lightning, and flooding risks. When you look at the 8 to 14 day time frame for precipitation. This goes all the way through the 26. It is highlighting the southeast here for a higher chance of precipitation. So simply put, we are going to stay very active over the next week to 10 days, and we need to watch the Gulf, of, Gulf uh, more primarily right now to see how that recycles back around. Does that moisture recycle around and get back to us and we have higher rain chances. That looks to be the case. Higher impacts do look likely across the southeast this upcoming week. We just need to start watching things a little more closely here in the tropics as flooding will be a big concern from Florida to Georgia to the Carolinas, especially watching those areas. Folks, hope you have a great day. Again, if you're new to this channel, please consider liking, following, subscribing to this channel wherever you're watching from. Let me know in the comment section where you're watching from and a great way to stay informed is to hit that notification bell to be notified anytime I do a video. I will keep you up to date on anything that turns severe.